Today I want to talk about workflows, specifically purchase order workflows and purchase requisition workflows. Hi, my name is Alicia and I want to talk to you about approving purchase order and purchase requisition workflows by financial dimension. So in a lot of companies, purchase orders and purchase requisitions are approved by someone in a cost center or in a department. So in if you're saying, hey, if it goes to cost center 123, it's going to get approved by Sally. If it's going to cost center 456, it's going to get approved by Tom. If it's going to cost center XYZ, it's going to get approved by Grant, whatever. Right. So you could go into the workflow and you could put all these if statements. If the cost center is this, then it's going to get approved by this user or this user group. If this, if this, right. So you could make the workflow very complex. Or you could just make the workflow very simple and assign owners to your financial dimension values. So what I mean by that is there's a function inside of D365 FNSC that allows you to set up these reviewers by cost center or department or whatever your financial dimensions happen to be. So I want to show this to you. I think you'll find this to be an easy way to accomplish your business objective of having an approver by cost center and the example I'm going to give you now. Um, what you want to do first is go under per procurement sourcing and then under setup policies, you're going to see purchase requisition expenditure reviewers and purchase order expenditure reviewers. In this particular one, I just clicked new and called it CC for cost center, something very simple. Um, you're gonna notice that you have project distributions and organization distributions. Now, the project distributions is used for project management and accounting, and then the organization distributions is gonna be used for your purchase order, non-project purchase orders. So I'm gonna click on organization distributions, and then here, if I click edit, I can just click the drop down here and say for cost center, yes. So that's telling the system that when I'm doing a purchase order review, a purchase order workflow, I want to be able to use the cost, the cost center here as part of the approval process. So this is the first step. The second step is to actually go into your financial dimensions. So again, we're going to go into general ledger, chart of accounts, dimensions, financial dimensions. We're going to then go to our cost center here, where did it go right here, and then we go to dimension values, and you'll notice there's a field called owner. So this is who you're saying owns, so which user owns this specific cost center. So trade shows is owned by Jody. Now you can also go down here and say, well, what if I have different legal entities? I don't want everything to go to Jody for approval. I need certain, maybe it needs to go to a different person if it's in a different legal entity. So if you want the owner to be different by legal entity, down here where it says legal entity overrides, you just click add, add a legal entity, and then there you can assign the owner for that specific legal entity. So, and again, you go to the next financial dimension, you do the same thing. So each fin each financial dimension call center in this example, you're then going to assign it to whomever is responsible for that call center. Then when you go over to your workflow for purchase orders, and this one you can see I made it very simple. I says we have a start, we have one approver, and we have an end. So we're going to go into the approval step. I'm going to click on step again and then assignment. And then here for the assignment type, we're going to say that it's a participant. And then for the role based, we're going to notice we have one here called expenditure participant. And because I turned on that cost center in that particular setup that I did, you'll notice I have cost center here. And again, this CC corresponds back to this right here. So if I had multiples turned on here, but this is what you're seeing um, in the workflow. So then I can close this, I can save the workflow, and then the next time I do a purchase order, the system's gonna look at the cost center on that purchase order, and it's gonna say, oh, this is cost center, whatever our cost center number was, 007. Oh, that means it's gonna go to Jody. If I'm in USMF, if I'm in this BRMF, then it's gonna go to Charlie. 
So again, that's a very simple way to set up your workflow and have it dynamically get routed to the approver based upon the financial dimension.